how long can you be unemployed on the EAD? So that is three months, right? Because remember that your EAD card, you can get your EAD card without having a job lined up, right? So I probably should have covered that earlier so that that's clear. So just to be clear, your optional practical training is approved and your EAD is sent to you without a job. You don't have to have a job offer in hand, okay? You don't have to have that already done. There's no mention of an uh, employer, right? It's, it's, it's done so that you have the chance to take advantage of this 12 months or um, three years in the case of STEM, that you have the chance to take advantage of this time to work. And so what you're really doing is you're getting your employment authorization ahead of time so that you can then go on and work if you find a suitable job, right? So you actually can stay unemployed. So let's say you get your EAD and the EAD start, whatever this EAD start date is, remember, so from that start date, you have 12 months and you can be unemployed for three months, okay? Before there's any, you know, there's, there's no problem with that, right? You can actually be unemployed. And as long as you are checking in with your university's career services office and your, uh, career services office, sorry, university's um, international students office and letting them know what's going on and then also if you ch you can also change right you can do one job and another job and you know you can do all kinds of things so as long as you let the university know what's going on and as long as there is no more than that three month maximum of time in the 12 months that you're unemployed okay so so there's that and then remember that you also need to now optimize for your potential prospective employer, right? So say that you do have an employer that, you know, somewhere down the road after you have applied for your card and, you know, you've indicated a start date. Now, let's say you go and you get a job and the employer obviously would want you to start, right? As, I don't know, as soon as possible. So now this is why it's good to have already put in your application because it takes two to three months to process and get your EAD with you, right? So, so it's good that let's say you thought ahead, already sent that in with a start date that works and now you have your job offer, you can start. Now, here's the thing, you may not be, you may not get the card, right? You, you may still may not get the card in time. And so this is again where you have to make sure that you are talking to your employer and letting your employer know that you won't have the right, you won't have the necessary documentation to start two weeks from today. And that's the case even if let's say you had indicated, let's say your start date indication was two weeks from today and you you have the job offer, you have everything set to go, but the thing is you actually haven't got approved and got your EAD, right? So that means you, you can't work. So a lot of times what happens with students, the most common scenario is where they delay the EAD business because they want to take full advantage of the time that's available to them, right? So you've got your grace period and then you have your um, up to 60 days out, right? So students don't want to apply for this like around the time they're graduating or just before. They want to wait until, you know, they want to wait longer and they want to be at the edge of that time. So that way they get the maximum time out. But the problem with that is then if you find a job and you have to start working and if you can't work until August, September, then that becomes an issue, right? So you have to pay attention to that. Uh, so just be very aware that it takes time to process. Three to two to three months is what they say. So when they say two to three months, you know, you have to always be, give it a little bit more time, right? Three and a half months. There could be some unforeseen delay and it could even be four months, which is why it's important to do it ahead of time. Now, speaking of ahead of time, how far ahead can you apply? So, Because there as well, there are rules about how far ahead you can apply, right? So it's not like you can apply if you're in your last um, semester, right, and you're about to graduate. You you can't just apply, you, you know, as, as and when you want. You have to wait. And you have to wait at least... Um, 90, I believe it's 90 days. Yeah, 90 days before the end of your 
degree before the end of the program, right? So in other words, you can apply a month before, two months before, maximum three months before, 90 days before, right? You can't, you can't apply earlier than that.